Oh, <clears throat> imagine my surprise at seeing you here. Uh, welcome, uh, friends, once again to the library here at Horror Hotel, where the biggest room is the room for improvement. Um, it's time once again for Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. For all you mask collectors and horror fans out there, I'm Larry the Cable Guy, and you know, um, you have to respect a guy who throws himself into his work. Although, when his work is digging graves, that's not necessarily uh, the, the intended goal, is it? That doesn't mean the same thing, which brings me to today's mask. For those of you who were thinking, gee, it's been a while since he's done a mask from the Horror Dome. Well, you're in luck, because by an astounding coincidence, today's mask is from the folks at the Horror Dome. And today's The Horror Dome Mask uh, happens to be the Grave Robber Ghoul. Grave Robber Ghoul. Not Graveyard Ghoul, but Grave Robber Ghoul. See, that's different. So you don't want to look up Graveyard Ghoul, because that's a different... Grave Robber Ghoul is short for Grave Robert Goulet. And right now everyone's saying, Who is Robert Goulet? Well, ask your great-grandmother. She might know. Or even your fair to midland grandmother. Anyway, look at this cool mask, which came out in uh, late uh, 2019, just barely in time for Halloween 2019, I believe. And uh, well, we're still pretty new in uh, 2020. You see, this thing from the Horror Dome is uh, cool for a couple of reasons, I think. Uh, one thing I like about him is that although he does kind of have the aspect of death about him. He has something of the grave about him. In spite of that, he he doesn't look like any particular dead thing that you've seen before. He doesn't look like uh, a standard zombie or a traditional uh, skull or Nosferatu or Dracula looking guy or a mummy. He's, he doesn't look anything like that. He's just a weird monster even though he's a little deathly looking. And he has these uh, very nicely done, super shiny, glossy eyes, which I think are, are uh, fun. Yeah, he's having fun. He enjoys his work, you know, no, but no doubt about that. Uh, I think the eyes are cool because they're, they're, they're creepy and uh, insane looking in the manner of maybe something from uh, a creepy pasta, you know, might have creepy eyes like that. But also, he looks so enthusiastic that he could be fun if you're wearing him. He could be like jumping around enthusiastically being crazy, or he could be standing off there uh, in the distance uh, staring at people from behind a, a tree or a tombstone or something and still look cool. So I, I like the fact that he looks kind of death-like, but he doesn't look like any particular monster that you've seen before or anything else in your mask collection. If you collect a lot of these things, you don't have anything else that looks quite like the Horror Dome Grave Robber Ghoul. Now, you see he has some hair here. I just, I have that pulled down in the front because I just think it looks cool like that because it looks creepy that way. But if you like, you can, of course, kind of pull it back so you don't see that so much and sort of have it, you know, uh, on the two sides sort of separated you can do that and it has more of a witchy look that way I guess or like an old man uh, kind of effect I, I kind of like it in 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 the front for one thing it makes him look a little bit more vague and disheveled and for another thing for once it's great quality hair that they're putting on him it's not that plasticky stuff that looks all kinky and crimpy that I uh, sometimes heard complaining about no no the hair on this thing looks very realistic. Now he is just a latex half mask that comes right to here and then as you can see, well I'll go ahead and take him off the high quality styrofoam head so you can really get a good look here. He's about this much latex, okay, with a nice sewn in uh, elastic strap across the back and the latex, at least on the one I got, is nice and thick and sturdy and it's a good quality casting. Obviously, I don't know if they're all this nice because I don't have all of them. I just have this one. But he's pretty great. When you're wearing it, you're seeing out of little uh, cuts above the eyeballs and below the brows there. And let's see, is there any uh, mouth cuts made or are the eyes it? Let me see. No, on this copy, the only cuts you get are the ones above the eyes. There is no uh, breathing apparatus 
uh, involved with, with this particular copy. I don't know if they're all like that. But anyway, what a cool monster and a great addition to any haunted house or Halloween event or great to wear to the Halloween party or uh, to wear to work on casual Friday the 13th. Yeah. And, um, you know, as far as costumes, just anything black, really, because as long as you got something that kind of works with the, the black hood. Oh, and I should mention that the hood also has little Velcro square at the bottom so that you can uh, you can fasten it together there. See? So you can either have, the, have it open or you can squeeze it together there in the center. And I'm probably smushing him out of shape. I'll put him back on the high quality styrofoam head. But uh, anyway, I think these go for about 60 or 70 bucks, which is not super cheap for a, a mask that isn't full head. But it's such a cool design and it's such a nice synthesis of uh, old school fun Halloween monsterdom and modern day uh, anatomical accuracy and ghouly sensibility of modern horror that I like a lot and I think even for 70 bucks yeah worth it and uh, you may have noticed he's got little pink and purple veins on his head there I didn't add that it, it came painted this nicely as you see here this is how it came from the folks at the horror dome so uh, pick up a graveyard ghoul they don't weigh all that much so they're not that hard to pick up and until next week I hope I see you again next week but here's your helpful tip until then uh, the next time there's a shortage of toilet paper in your community and you can't find any at uh, any of the big department stores, the big supermarkets in your town, I recommend you go to your local CVS store. Not because they're necessarily going to be better stocked, but because I know from experience that if you buy one candy bar or one stick of gum there, you will get approximately 28 feet of paper from their cash register every time. Thank you and drive safely.